to earn snowboard slope style gold at this year's X Games Aspen, competitors sticking to technical styles of riding will likely have to land the triple cork. With a dizzying blend of flips and rotations, the mechanics behind the maneuver get ridiculously complicated. Our analysis reveals that to execute three flips and four rotations in a typical 2.7 second flight, competitors need to push off the kicker with nearly 300 pounds of force and rotate at nearly 600 degrees per second. That's about the same rotational velocity as a semi's tires moving at 15 miles per hour. But the triple cork isn't just hard because of its speed. It's really challenging because it's an asymmetrical motion. During a typical spin, like a flip or barrel roll, body weight is distributed nearly 50-50 about the axis of rotation, allowing for a rhythmic turning motion. But during a triple cork, a border knocks their axis out by nearly 45 degrees, leading to what's called a precession spin. The same kind of spin we see in a wobbly football spiral. This precession means the time to execute each full spin can be reduced by more than 50%. But mastering the flight is only half the battle. You still have to land it. Combine weight and rotational speed and you get what's called angular momentum. In a triple cork, boarders will experience angular momentum nearing 2,400 pound-feet squared per second. That's more than double what a figure skater experiences spinning at full speed. To pull off a triple cork, takeoff speed can ultimately decide if the trick is even possible. Consider this. If launch velocity is reduced by just five miles per hour, a rider's flight distance can be cut down by nearly 20 feet. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.